Natalia Rybchinsky. She's a paleobiologist, which means she specializes in digging up really old dead stuff. Natalia had found a giant Arctic camel. Now, when you hear the word camel, you, what may come to mind is one of these, the dromedary, quintessential desert creature. Hangs out in sandy hot places like the Middle East and the Sahara. Has a big old hump on its back for storing water for those long desert treks. Has big broad feet to help it tromp over sand dunes. So how on earth would one of these guys end up in the high Arctic? For nearly 40 of the 45 million years that camels have been around, you could only find them in North America. Around 20 different species, maybe more. Yeah, so you're gonna have different body sizes. You're gonna have some with really long necks, so they're actually mm -hmm. functionally like giraffes. Some had snouts like crocodiles. The really primitive early ones would have been really small, like almost like rabbits. What? And then about three to seven million years ago, one branch of camels went down to South America, where they became llamas and alpacas, and another branch crossed over the Bering Land Bridge into Asia and Africa, and then around the end of the last ice age, North American camels went extinct. How is it that one of these Saharan superstars ever have survived those Arctic conditions? What if those broad feet were meant to tromp not over sand, but over snow, like a pair of snowshoes? What if that hump, which huge news to me, does not contain water, it contains fat, was there to help the camel get through that six month long winter when food was scarce? It's this crazy idea that what seems like proof of the camel's quintessential desert nature could actually be proof of its high Arctic past.